Right, let's talk about solar. Um, many of us are thinking along the lines of getting solar stuff in this day and age. It just makes more sense rather than keep spending more and more money on replacing batteries which just run out, okay? Um, myself, personally, I don't like to have too many um, devices which rely on power. Um, but, you know, the way things are going, um, solar is definitely a viable option. Um, especially um, the misconceptions are um, a few years ago when I started looking into solar um, charging I, was, um, I just made the mistake like most of us do um, you need to have full direct sunlight to charge anything um, that used to be the case a long time ago when um, solar technology was just taking off um, this day and age the, the technology is is massively improved okay I mean we're going to be testing it today and it's a, a typical overcast day in the UK okay and um, it's perfectly designed and set up just for conditions like this so what you see in front of you is um, some devices that I actually own all right um, obviously the two smaller ones they're portable and the two ones behind it they're portable as well although slightly larger so um, we're going to compare these two. So let's get them open and um, have a closer look and see what they're really all about. Okay, this one at the bottom, as the, most of you have seen before, it's the, the Goal Zero Nomad 7. A fantastic bit of kit, it really is. And every, I think every 12, 18 months, they um, change it, they upgrade it, um, depending on what the technology is doing feedback from customers regarding how they store um, items in there i've had this for around two years now and already there's an um a one newer than this one okay so they're constantly upgrading it um, mainly because of customer feedback which is brilliant to see you know companies listening to customers fantastic this one um directly from the goal zero website weighs in at 80 dollars us okay now this one is capable of producing seven watts of power. The one above is made by a company called Wagon. Wagon or Wagon, I'm not sure. I'm guessing Wagon. Um, that weighs in at $160 US, but it creates 18 watts of power. Yeah, that's unbelievable, isn't it? That's nearly three times the amount of the one below it, the Gold Zero. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to plug devices into them on an overcast day and to see if they actually work. Okay, let's start off with the Nomad 7. Uh, how I like to uh, set mine out, this is all personal preference of course. You've got the Guy 10 Plus which is his own little charging unit. Nice bit of kit, I really do like that. And I just store my batteries in these little caddies here, the power packs. Just keeps all together, stops all rolling around everywhere, okay. Now, the leads. Let's get this rigged up and see how we get on. Right, we've got it plugged in there. As you can see, there's nothing at all, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is just turn this over and face it to the sky. And instantly, it's charging. That's not a problem at all. So even on an overcast day, these things really do work. Okay, so now we're gonna go with a wagon. And this is all like neoprene. Uh, it's quite cool, it actually protects it all. Whether it's um, waterproof, I'm not sure, but I'm guessing it's water resistant. So if this was left out in a shower for 10 minutes and then you discovered it and run to get it, I've got a feeling it should be okay, but I'm not certain on this. Now what comes with it is some, some charging needs. Obviously you've got your 12 volt there and your standard um, USB mini or micro, which will charge up most smartphones, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna um, do what we've done before. We're going to plug it in and see what it's like. Okay. Instantly, straight away, we're charging. It's fantastic. Incidentally, these cells, they're the latest technology. These are so efficient compared to the other ones which is brilliant for days like this. And let me just show you exactly what sort of skies we're looking at here. Well, we've got some telegraph lines, but that just gives you an idea 
of the, the overhead sky. You know, we're not in the middle of the Sahara on a clear, hot, sunny day. No, this is England, and it's uh, often like this. So, yep, yeah, that actually works a treat when we use these devices to charge up with. Okay, so I'm really interested to have a closer look at the new one that I've got to probably replace the Nomad 7. Now, one of the only things that I'm not really... Um, not happy about but I feel could be better if it was improved all of this um, writing along here now it's easy to see on camera but um, I can I found it hard to see it's very small it's not colored or anything okay it would be great if that was more visible seeing exactly what is what also the leads um, personally I feel if they were a bit thicker and of better quality, um, I believe, or what we're looking into, some of the leads, the USB 2 leads, um, if they get better quality, they transfer data a lot faster. So that could be something worth um, thinking about um, as the customer feedback goes, making the leads a little bit thicker, okay? But everything else, I'm absolutely well happy about, very, very impressed. I like this, this is a, a magnetic fastening, it's nice and clean, no velcro to muck around and get covered in dirt and stuff, it's nice and simple right, and you've got a nice big ring to hang it up on and anything you like. Speaking of rings, there's lots of webbing loops throughout the whole thing, so you really could fix this to your backpack as you're walking along all day, charging up your devices, um, you can use them for nighttime, like torches or flashlights etc. And this thing really surprised me. What you're looking at here weighs exactly the same than the Goal Zero Nomad 7. So yeah, you basically will get an extra panel um, for the same weight. The panels in here, oh, if it can focus, because it's, it's not exactly very bright out here, um, are more efficient, they're the latest technology. So yeah, you'll get an extra panel for the same weight. I know the price is a, is a big difference, um, but I think you pay that for all the technology that goes into making this stuff. It's uh, very, very good. Um, whether these are waterproof or not, I can't say. I can't find any information online whether they're waterproof or not. Um, I didn't want to just throw water all over it and find out later that it's not, and it's damaged and ruined. It's a waste of money then. So, overall, a good look at it. Very impressed. Very impressed. The quality really does seem there. All of the stitching is spot on. You know I'm a big fan of um, nice straight stitching and quality, and uh, yeah. So there it is, just a little comparison, just to see um, the differences really. Obviously the size is a little bit bigger. As I say, the weight is almost identical, there's hardly anything in it at all, which is fantastic really. In actual fact, I think this one is a bit lighter. Not by much, but it is lighter, okay? And this is a new company to me, I've not heard of them before. Um, I think this is an American company, which is cool because everything on this is made in the USA. It's not shipped out to the Far East to be made and mass produced. These are actually made in America, so the quality's there, okay? And this company, I didn't realize, has been going for 30 years. So for a company to be going 30 years, making all their stuff, or most of their stuff in America, it's great to hear, okay? As I said in videos before, I remember the days where Made in the UK and Made in the USA were really something to behold, um, treasured to be honest. And it's just nice to see items made in the USA and the UK. Okay, they're going to be more expensive than they are, um, mass produced over, over abroad in uh, China for example. But um, no, you do get what you pay for. So that was the, the reason for the video really, I just wanted to compare it with the, um, the solar pack that I carry in my bug out bag just wanted to see if there's anything on the market which was um which got more power you know 18 watts you know that's easily going to do um, ipads etc piece of cake not a problem at all so you're going to get um the same amount of daylight for both of these but they're going to be outputting very different power okay so as technology goes these days everything seems to be um power driven and you just 
tend to be needing more and more power to for things okay so something like this really really floated my boat i just had to get it and uh so chuffed with dick because so far it's great and all i need to do now is to go out there and properly test it so there'll be some videos of this in the future of this um seeing how we get on out in the field of it so there you have it guys a little comparison for the wagon tech or the wagon tech it's the 18 solar panel this is the efficient version slightly cheaper than the other version okay but um no if that charges up and weather like this you're laughing thanks for watching guys stay funky Oh, 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 oh,